Happening right now, people along Georgia's coast are working to clean up damage from Hurricane Matthew. This is video right here from News Drone 2 flying over Tybee Island. You can see this roof just peeled back. Here's the very latest. The storm is blamed for three deaths in Georgia and at least 21 in the U.S. Utility crews are working to restore power to nearly 150,000 customers. Channel 2's Aaron Diamond talked to homeowners who are getting their first look at the damage from this major storm. Well, the hotels here in Waycross, Georgia, about 60 miles from the coast, have started clearing out as evacuees begin returning home. Depending on what they find when they get there, they may have to turn around and come right back. We just want to encourage people to be patient. An emotional message from Congressman Buddy Carter. Nearly all the coastal Georgia homes impacted by Hurricane Matthews might and those who fled from them in his district. I know they are, they are very anxious to get home and check on their property, and we get that. But listen, there's a lot of destruction. We found Larry and Diane Snow assessing damage done to their Brunswick home. I was kind of afraid we might come back to nothing. But their property mostly spared. Man, we have been so blessed. It's unreal. Others in Glen County, not so fortunate. Matthew's high wind sent countless historic trees crashing down, many into houses, others blocking roads. Crews working round the clock to remove them, replace snap power poles, and rehang shredded power lines. They've done a terrific job, and I just appreciate everything they're, they're doing and for, the, for this area. Meantime, access to battered St. Simons Island will remain strictly controlled until repair crews restore power to the island's main sewage pumps. The risk of a spill still too high. You don't want to back it up into your house because now it's a health issue. It's a public health issue. Despite all the damage, which may take months to clean up, no deaths or major injuries reported in Glen County. And as businesses on the mainland begin to reopen, an overwhelming sense of relief. I believe it was God's hand covering it. That's what I believe. Well, despite their personal situations, we found everybody here grateful the damage wasn't worse. As for those trying to get back onto St. Simons, Glen County leaders tell me their goal is to roll back the restrictions and the roadblocks as soon as possible. In Waycross, Georgia, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.